CSR electric water pump for a big block Chevy. The ball type motherfucker. It's a July 7th of 2007 is when it was made. I think it, I bought it new back in 07 put it on my 496 big block Chevy drove that son of a bitch everywhere I went daily driver but this is a pretty pretty fucking good water pump here it's 16 years old Got probably got two years worth of use on it. Still works like new. Still looks like new. The thing about these electric water pumps is if you go shopping for one, most of them are 35 gallon per minute. Got a healthy big block Chevy. Trying to drive on the street with one of these fucking things. At 35 gallon a minute ain't gonna be enough. So this is a 55 gallon per minute. CSR. This fucking thing was expensive too. I don't remember exactly what I paid for it. It's been 16 years, but it was four or five hundred bucks back then. But it was necessary. But you see, you get on eBay and shit, you look at electric water pumps, you look at, you see them for like a hundred dollars and shit, you know. And they're shiny and pretty and you might be tempted to buy one of them hundred dollar motherfuckers. But them things, my experience and what I've seen Typically, you get about a hundred dollars worth of use out of that fucking thing for the electric motor burns up on that bastard. Or they just don't have the flow they're supposed to have, or whatever the case may be. They ain't worth a shit. So if you're gonna run an electric water pump on the street, gonna have to step up and spend a few bucks get one that'll do the fucking job you know this was on a engine that made 675 680 horsepower NA about 600 torque had a 4 core aluminum radiator had a 4500 stall in it, 410 gear. Got drove on the street like a normal fucking car and it never got over 180. 180 degrees, which I had a, I didn't have a thermostat in, I had a restrictor with like a inch diameter hole in the restrictor. And I had that big fucking four core aluminum dirt track radiator and then this water pump here. And that fucker never overheated. No matter how hot it was outside, hot as that engine would get was about buck eighty. So don't be tempted 
them hundred dollar electric water pumps because one they don't have you know they're like you know if it works like they say it does they're 35 gallons per minute which anything with any real power is really not enough for a driver a daily driver and they they're made with inferior electric motors and shit you know that's why we sell them for a hundred fucking dollars because they're made with cheap shit and this is a CSR it's real deal shit that's a bad motherfucking water pump there Jack if they still make these bastards. But, you know, it's 16 years old and still as good as the day it was fucking made. Works perfect. Fixing to put it back into service. Again, on an even rowdier engine, I'm gonna drive it on the fucking street too, so... This is the water pump. It's still got its nice pretty fucking blue anodized finish. Held up quite well for 16 years. The fucking stainless bolts and shit are all as they should be. There's, there's other brands that are comparable to this one. Of course, Moroso water pumps are decent. But, like I say, you want to go with, you know, it's like 55 gallon per minute. That cooled my big block on the street every damn day. So, take it for what it's worth. Sometimes a good deal ain't always a good fucking deal. Yeah, this motherfucker costed a fortune, but, you know, shit, I expect it to last you know, 20 fucking years or better, so it's better than paying a hundred dollars for one and the son of a bitch go out a month later, then you gotta buy another one and go through the hassle of swapping it out. So sometimes a good deal ain't a good deal. It's better just to go ahead and bite the fucking bullet and get the good shit from the start and Oh, this is back when they still made shit to last. Probably better than anything made today. But there you go. CSR electric water pump.